a thank you. That's really all I can do today is a thank you. This is Friday, March, whatever it is, 4th. And something stuck in my eye right there. And I press play twice on this, press record twice on this and stop. So I'll try again. Cheers, y'all. I, yes, I, I really just wanted to put out a thank you. A thank you to all of my followers. So many of you have given me um, strength and boosted my spirit and, and in so many ways, not just in your comforting comments when there have been difficult times, but also so many of you thank, uh, so many of you I have helped in other ways and hooking you up with doctors or getting you the medicine you need by getting you in touch with MMJ or just teaching you stuff. I've had so many not just comments below but also private messages thanking me for the work I do and every single one of those boosts me and keeps me going but the reason this special thank you today is because things have really taken a turn in the past 24 hours let's wind back I've had this channel for a year now a little over a year now I've actually had the channel for a couple of years, but I only started posting WeedTube a year ago. Cheers to all of you first. Everybody, talk with me, please. What have you got? Say below. This is purple ice wax melted onto death bubba flower, organic, super, super dense buds. And oh, what a beautiful flavor those two make together. What a marriage that was. I'm glad I did that. Now, I'm going to give you a little history of the past year. Back in January last year, I finally got my medical license after a long, long time. I had already been starting to withdraw from, uh, withdraw stop taking some of my pharmaceuticals and I finally got my license and that's when I decided to start doing this tube chant YouTube because I really didn't want to be shut down because I was illegal so once I got legal I started doing my weed tube things were going really really well um, sure I had some difficulties at home and and uh, but really for the first four or five months of my weed tube it went really well and the, and slowly it built into uh, not that long later I started doing my weedy weekend show every Sunday and now I've got uh, talks and trips I've only done three episodes but there will be more because the summer's coming so the channel's growing and it was growing well but in June in June if most of you remember um, I took and therefore this channel took a big hit my partner of a decade left and took my son with her and I'm going to make no degrading comments here because she has really come around a long ways I just want to say that at that time all of a sudden I was distraught I that a judge without even really listening to a case put restrictions on me making sure that four out of every 14 days was spent without any medicine at all just so I could see my son and this was after the RV Smith ruling RV Smith is the crown versus Smith the ruling that last year early last year stated by the Supreme Court of Canada that cannabis is a medicine in all its forms including concentrates and shatters and stuff like that and is a medicine in all those forms and as a medicine is a right protected under our Charter of Rights and Freedoms so you take the freedom away from a hippie 
you might as well cut the balls off the horse. May run better, but what good is it? And I didn't run better. Slowly, since June, while I have tried to fight for my freedoms, I have noticed my own it, my own sickness get worse as I redact from from smoking during those days, or toking, or eating, or dabbing, or whatever. Fast forward, fast forward. We we had a really even during all those months and all of you staying with me, we had a lot of fun. We had a lot of videos. We had a lot of trips. We went out to the Rockies a couple of times. You've met my family. Um, really been a good year. Despite, because that's the hippie way, is life is meant to be a troubled road. Uh, if you aren't on a troubled road, well, you sure... If you ever run into adversity, you're never going to know how to handle it. We have to hit troubles in order to grow. So I welcome that. Um, it's just sometimes there's too much. And you stuck with me. You stuck with me. Oh, my, my uh, subscriber count goes up and down because sometimes I may say something off topic or off the wall and somebody gets offended and I lose a few people and then I gain a few people. I've been sitting at 760 for a long time. I'd really like to boost that up. You guys share me around. I'd like to hit a thousand. I will plan. I will plan some sort of giveaway. I have a friend helping me on that. Some sort of giveaway at a thousand. So I'd really like to see now that things have changed and now that I've got a new avenue of freedom I can express properly as these laws are changing I can take and embrace them and start to make myself healthier in an hour or two I go and I get Pasha it's not even my weekend and I will spend time with them and tomorrow my whole family will be here and we'll spend some time together and yes I'm still financially ugh, terrible spiritually cloud nine cloud nine you take the handcuffs off the soul the soul can fly no matter what tries to weigh it down peace and cheers love and harmony thank you for staying with thank you for following thank you for sharing and just peace